Hi, it's Tony Buck here, and this is my solar collectors that have been on the roof for six or seven years. I built them myself. They heat this tank of water in the basement, 250 gallons, which helps heat my house. Here they are without the plastic on top, the twin wall polycarbonate, and I'm pulling the cores out. I built these onto the roof, and I have to rebuild them, because take a look at this. This is a wooden separator inside, already charred from the heat just falling apart. So anybody who says you can use plastic in these, I don't think so. This was my thermostat here and it was underneath the PVC pipe which has just gone away. So I took them into the garden, I'm uh, redoing the pipes, make them work, and I'm, this is what I'm doing. I'm showing you the end before I go on. I'm building individual collectors <coughs> that can be stored on the roof and taken off whenever I feel like it and this is what it looks like when I finished it. So this is my upgrade. And uh, if you need to know more details, here's some um, f is my insulation foam with uh, Luan on top of it. I'm laminating Luan on top of that, and I'm painting it with anything I can find. It turned out to be blue. That's the bottom of the collector. And here I am making up the frame, which is made of 2 by 6 studding, metal studding. And I'm bending it at the corners. It worked pretty well. It's hard work. Unless you're used to sheet metal work, this is a tough one. And there, are, these things are 4 feet by 10 feet long. So you have to understand they're very big. And I put them inside the collector and hold them down with um, conduit. And there's the core inside of the collector frame. And I hold that down with conduit too, going across in three places. I didn't support the plexiglass, the twin wall polycarbonate well enough last time. This is my anchor system on the roof, 2 by 4s Here's the pipe coming out of the roof into the first collector. I'm using shark bites. There's one there to join everything together. That was a lot easier than the soldering I did earlier. And here's the 2 by 4 2 by 6 frame with the uh, thermostat. And that's where it the water returns into the roof and down into the basement. As you can see from that shot, there was a conduit pipe holding the whole thing together, holding it down so the, so the wind can't blow it off. Here it is again. As you can see, the polycarbonate has taken some wear and tear, and there it is finished, ready to go for another six or seven years, I hope.